Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to go over an exercise where we're going to find a binomial series for each function. And binomial series come with a very special form. Uh, for example, f of x equals 1 plus x to the power uh, of k. k could be an integer uh, or, or even a rational number. So today, it's sort of like we're going to uh, utilize binomial series uh, to write down uh, the, the, the Maclaurin series for the given functions in one shot without going into the details of finding the derivatives of the function. Because binomial series are very special, so, so the question is like how can we use those series towards expanding f into uh, its Maclaurin series in one shot. Alright, let's get started. All right, so we're going to use the definition of uh, binomial uh, series to find the Maclaurin series for the given function. So we have uh, f of x equals 1 over uh, 2 plus x quantity cubed in the first case, and in the second case we have uh, radical 1 plus x cubed. I'm going to start with uh, one uh, part a with uh, the fraction uh, rational function 1 over uh, 2 plus x cubed. And I want to remind you what a binom binomial series is. So if you have a series uh, of the form 1 plus x to the power of k, and if you want to write down a Taylor expansion at c equals 0, this is exactly the series you get at the end. And you can try this out by yourself. Just look at f of 0, f prime of 0, and, and, and the nth derivative of 0, and then you will see like this nice binomial form. Okay. So uh, let's go back. We have 1 over 2 plus x quantity cubed. So 1 uh, plus 1 over uh, 2 plus x, right? 2 plus x quantity cubed. Okay. So we're going to sort of like uh, write this out. Uh, uh, but I have to put this first uh, in, in this form here. Uh, okay. So... Um, so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to factor 2 out because I need 1 plus version of that, 1 plus, okay? So uh, let's factor 2 out uh, here. This is 1 plus x over 2, and then this is still uh, the inner side of uh, the cubic power, okay? So um, this implies that this implies that this is 1 over 2 cubed, 1 plus uh, x over 2, um, 1 plus... Um, x over 2 um, quantity cubed, I think. Okay, so um, that should be equal to uh, 1 over 8 times 1 plus x over 2 uh, quantity cubed. Okay, and then uh, we have remember in, in, in this form here we have 1 plus x to the power of k. So I have to write this as a reciprocal so 1 over 8 1 plus x over 2 to the power of negative 3 okay think about the case like where x equals uh, x over 2 and uh, and k equals 3 so replace x by x over 2 k by negative 3 in the form of the binomial series so i can rewrite this as like 1 over 8 uh, 1 over 8 the first term is always 1. The second term is like negative 3. Uh, well, x is uh, replaced by uh, x over 2, so x over 2. And then uh, plus negative 3, negative 4, divided by 2, uh, x over 2 quantity uh, squared. Okay, And then this goes like uh, on and on and on, right? Uh, negative 3. Um, negative 4, negative 5. Let me just write down the, the next term so you will figure out exactly uh, what the rest should be. x over 2 um, to the power of 3. Okay. This goes again on and on and on and on. So we should probably write this in a nicer form. Uh, in a very nicer form uh, because uh, we want to go back to the power series representation and the summation notation okay so 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 uh, you can also pause the video uh, and think about it by yourself so it's 1 over 8 1 plus 
I'm going to start the sum from 1 going all the way to infinity. I have, um, as you see, I have an alternation going on here because uh, this product is positive, but this product is negative, right? And this product is already, I mean, there's no product here, but it's already negative. So plus 1, minus 3, plus that term, uh, minus that term. So this is a minus term, right? Um, negative 3, uh, sorry, this is a plus term, right? Uh, so minus, let me just write that down again. Minus term, plus term, and then this has to be minus because of uh, because of the product um, negative three, negative four, and negative five is minus. So we should have some alternation. That's what I'm trying to uh, get to. There's supposed to be some alternation going on here, and I'm going to take care of that alternation by at minus one to the power of n, and this is n plus two factorial, uh, and then you have uh, two to the n plus one. And, and maybe n factorial as well, uh, x to the power of n. Okay, so go ahead and check this, and so like um, um, convince yourself that uh, this uh, is representing exactly what we have here. Okay. All right. So this is more like four factorial, but there's uh, like if you look at this term, you know, let me just clean this a little bit more. So. I'm talking about this term here at the top, right? Um, negative three, uh, negative four. That's almost like four factorial, but there is no one times two part of that, okay? And then this is more like two times one, so two missing over there. Uh, so this looks like n plus two factorial divided by two factorial, okay? And then same thing here. This is n plus two factorial for n equals two. But also you have to divide, you have to sort of like get rid of the two and one part. So that's why this is sort of like a nicer uh, representation of, uh, you don't need to write this full form if you can't uh, catch the pattern here. Uh, even this uh, uh, long form is, 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 is good enough, uh, the, the expanded form is good enough uh, to conclude that you have the nice power series representation of uh, 1 over 2 plus x quantity cubed uh, in terms of binomial series, okay? All right, uh, and there's also part uh, B, and uh, I'm gonna finish this video now, and then uh, please go to my next video uh, to uh, watch what's going on with part B.